Down here in the bottom left location on our minimap, player who's been pretty clutch now. It's yes, MC. Now over here at the top right, <clears throat> we have um, a player who needs to pull it back together a little bit. Judging from game number one, his strategies aren't quite working out. He's going to have to rework them. Odin MVP. You know, it seemed like everything from Odin was a little bit late. Yeah. And not really well executed. He wasn't really microing amazingly yeah. well. He was kind of... His decision-making seemed a little bit off. You can kind of see the difference in skill between the two players. Yeah. You know, MVP, definitely a good team, but OGS, one of the very top. MC, probably the top player from OGS overall. So, hmm. All right. We're going to see pretty soon here what the plans are from these two guys. They're very far apart. So I don't know if we're going to be seeing any kind of rushes from the Terran. We could from the Protoss if he decides to proxy pylon. Uh, yeah. Uh, I doubt we'll see it, though. I think we're going to see just a very safe build from MC. Well, if MC's been having as many problems as he has been with nerves, you might want to just do the most standard safe thing mm. and not try to be overly aggressive because that's when you start to stress out. Your heart rate shoots up. That is correct. And we do see a gas being taken by Odin. So now we're going to have the probe move out. He's not going to get to his opponent's base anytime soon. A Marine will be there to greet the probe roughly right around when the probe gets there. That will stop the probe from seeing um, if he's going to get this second barracks up or not. Let's see if the timing works out like I said it would. Actually, he might have, yeah, he's going to have just enough time to slip through. You know, this is why seconds mean so much. Yeah. In a game like StarCraft 1 or 2. Out there, and he sees, he's going to see the second barracks. Yeah. And two barracks in these positions. It's just such a far, far rush. That's going to give him so much information, though. And he even sees a tech lab going up. So uh, MC getting a wealth of information for saying that probe just right. And saying it to the right main as well. <laughs> so he's going to get a Marauder out now. Sometimes we see players get a Reaper. Uh, when the tech lab finishes, go into the main and scout him out. In this case, he's clearly more comfortable getting a Marauder. Here's the SCV. Now, MC, notice he's got both gases right away. I think most likely we're going to see very sentry-heavy play again. And uh, I think we might even see a quicker Robo this time, just because his yeah, expansion possible. isn't going to be guarded by a small ram. It's going to be a slightly bigger ramp. Requires more force fields, therefore harder to defend. He's probably pretty, you know, intimidated by his opponent Ooh. in that previous game. Oh, nice! Actually, going to see something totally different. Oh wow! Stargate. Stargate, and of course that command center we just saw. Two barracks into command center. So this was somewhat of a a non-aggressive two barracks play. Yep. He's got to be pretty careful. I mean, he's probably pretty intimidated by his opponent in that previous game. He was pretty much crushed. Whenever I'm feeling intimidated, I just pretend, for instance, my opponent is Protoss, that the Zealots are actually just holding popsicles in their hands <laughs> and not actually, uh, you know, Big side blades. Big, sharp, psionic popsicles. Psionic popsicles. Um, Would a, a Zealot's popsicle be made out of this, you know, light or something? Because that's a good question. Like I don't plants, know. man. They eat the sun. I just pretend the uh, sentry looks like he's holding a snow globe. Yep. And that's how you do it. It's fun, fun time at the Protoss base. So okay, now take it out. Reaper coming here to scout and kill off probes. Meanwhile, yeah. there's units at the ramp. He's going to see everything. Will he see the Stargate? If he can manage to see the Stargate, it's going to be very good. Spotted. And yeah, he does see. It is, in fact, making a Phoenix. <laughs> so Jaren's uh, going to be making a lot more Marines now. Yeah. And also, he's kind of tricked him out. You know, he made this... He's making phoenixes while there's marines being made and an expansion. So Odin did trick him out by showing him those two barracks and just making a command center. It's not something you would really expect. Um, well, let's see here. Two gates and uh, Stargate. He's either going to push out and attack or push out and expand. And with this probe here, and it looks like he's stockpiling minerals, as you can see. Yeah. He's definitely going to want to get an expansion up. 
Uh, no way to really walk across the map with this kind of weird opening with phoenixes and a few zealots and sentries and yeah. do any real damage. Right. So the phoenix is coming on. More phoenixes out now. He might try to grab a mule if he can. The mules are actually the expansion right now. Terran's actually pushing out again now. Protoss is not exactly in a great position. Oh, but it was a fake pressure. Maybe to force him to chrono boost some gateways. Get some more units out rather than chrono boosting the Nexus. He's actually stuck by a considerable amount of chrono boost, by the way. Yeah, yes. You know, he doesn't really need to build anything fast right now, though, because he's just spending so much money getting buildings up. That chrono boosting through, like, a single Zealot, well, that doesn't help because he's not attacking, he's not really doing anything. It may as well save a little bit of chrono boost. I like that he's still making Phoenix. Now, this is actually something we're seeing a little bit more. Uh, Kisu, a.k.a. Tester, has popularized a little bit, making a lot of Phoenixes, then going Colossus. Uh, the Phoenixes you can kind of harass with while you're making those Colossi. And once you do have the combination, uh, it's pretty hard for Terran to do anything against that, you know? It's, yeah. They can lift up sea Shanks, they fight against Vikings very well, and protect the Colossi. Meanwhile, they scout everything also. And he sees, indeed, there's just going to be more barracks on the way. Nice job just grabbing a SCV there. It's actually amazing how much damage you could do with um, a handful of Phoenixes. Oh, definitely. And they're so fast and uh, agile that you can pretty much keep them alive for most of the game unless uh, they get some heavy mobile anti-air. Right, he's, he's probably going to grab a mule here. Nope, can't. Tower just sends it off. Ooh, I'm going to show everyone something real quick while there's no real action going on. APM of these players. Uh, our Protoss wow. player, well, as every time I press that button for the viewers, it gets a lot closer, but our Protoss player has basically had twice the APM the that entire time. actions per minute. You can measure that in the game. Yep. He was at roughly 250 there. Yep, StarCraft 2 minutes are different sizes than regular minutes, though. It's actually 40% quicker than that. Now, uh... We do have a ton. Of, oops, hold that thought. They fly by and see a ghost academy and, and, and the armory. armory. Wow. So he's getting so much scouting intel, killing a little things here and there, forcing a few turrets, and in the meantime, teching up to Colossus. So these are actually doing a wonderful job. And, you know, right now Odin is making some medevacs and mostly marauders, but these will be able to punish those maybe a little bit. He's getting the Thermal Lance upgrade and more Colossus. Notice both watchtowers right now controlled by MC. Sent out two probes right after his expansion went up. And this just, between those and the Phoenixes, he knows absolutely everything going on on this map right now. Yeah, I mean, he might as well be hacking. Like, you know, the map hack. I mean, this is yeah. just like, uh, Terran is in the dark. Protoss is completely in the know. I'm sort of waiting to see what Terran's going to do. Is he just going to try to get a bunch of units and just gear up for an attack with this sort of generic army build here? Yeah. Kind of does look like that. You know, he is making a few Thors here and there. Uh, that might be to help stomp through some force fields. Yeah, I think that's exactly what it's for. Yeah. And, uh, of course, Thors with their long range, they can their long anti-air range, they can hit, you know, these Phoenixes a little bit. They have pretty high DPS anyways, so a decent unit to make. We don't normally see them work all that well in this matchup, though. Also, ghosts are being made for some EMP. Alright. Meanwhile, looks like Terran starting to push out, I believe. The Thor is like a gigantic marauder. It is. Except again, air units. It's true. Well, if the Marauder was that tall, he could, too. <laughs> He's too short right now, and his gun's too heavy to point it up. Mm -hmm. doesn't know if the Marauder actually just lays on his back. He could fire at air units. <laughs> it's going to be an upgrade in the next expansion. That's right. Oh, God. Okay, Terran's moving out. This is the deciding moment. Protoss is tipped off by this. Yep. 
And uh, Taryn, he wants to go kill our Protoss player. But Charge is not quite done for the Zealots. No, not yet. It's very good timing if you can get in there before it is done. There's a it's lot. going to be a good angle Ooh. here. Here we go. And an EMP going off on those Phoenixes. But look at that beautiful force field. And just MC is crushing through this army. Ain't no thing for MC. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, and um, he just is going to have to turn around now. Yeah, Frodo can expand again, you which know, he will do momentarily. The supplies come out pretty similar, but the important units that are left over, there's a lot of Colossus left over. So that's very important. Whereas basically the entire army was wiped out for Odin. It looks like he might actually just try to go in here and kill him off. Yeah, it's may I very well work as well. Charge I think, is done at this point. Yeah, and I think it is. It's going to be just that nice save there with the Thor, but he uh, drops it. Nerves are no longer getting to MC, but are in fact getting to Odin MVP. Yeah, that's right. Looks like he's cleaning it up with these few Colossus left. It would be smart to pop out some Vikings right now, as there's almost no anti-air. It's just a few sentries. SCVs come out to fight for Colossus. Guess how that turns out, Tasteless. It doesn't turn out well. Yeah, matters and, uh, side you're on, I guess. Yeah, it's true. Uh, well, this is going to be GG momentarily. Yep. Exciting games here. Yeah, you know, MC really showing what he's made of, destroying Odin. Although there's a Viking out now. We don't actually have Stalkers out yet. There they are. Killing that ghost. Terran scans and sees that the Protoss is getting the expansion. That means he has to hang on to this expansion over here. This one Colossus with 24 kills as an executor already as strong as Eldarus. It's amazing. In this game, we've seen a new Protoss legend born. Wow. There he is. Wow. The hero Colossus. GG. Wow. Odin MVP is eliminated, wearing the Team Liquid Huck hoodie. Is How about MC. that? They must be. They it's Huck in disguise. Like ah, he there you pulls go. out his space Mission Impossible style, and there he is. It's Huck. Ooh, look at that! Thumbs to the Huck. I heard that the guys on OGS love Huck. I guess it's I bet. true. We all love Huck, don't we? You gotta love Huck, man. Nice guy. Really a hard worker too. Huck, of course, member of Team Liquid. And he, they do share the house, OGS and Team Liquid together. Yep. So, wow. Pretty straightforward series. Yeah, you know, uh, MC really showed that he is a much better player than Odin. Right. That's basically what we just saw there. We saw, you know, an S-class player. He's not S-class yet, but he's at that skill level. Yeah. Against someone who's like, this is a one-time qualifier out in the round of 64. Yeah. Will we ever see Odin again? Time will tell. Yeah. Well, we wish him well. Hope we, hopefully he can get into uh, future uh, GSLs. You know, I'm sure he's a lot better than what we saw uh, in those games. Those games were pretty straightforward. He just made units and attacked with him, and it didn't work. Did not uh, work. MC was smart enough to just sit back and wait. Uh, and the longer you wait, you know, the more time you have to let your weaker opponent screw up. Mm. So not a bad decision there, MC. Probably getting his groove back now. Yeah. And, um... Hope you guys send in some questions because we're going to have uh, an interview with from MC. Artosis pretty soon here. It's going to be awesome. Oh my God. Um, so, yeah, definitely uh, get ready for that. Yeah. Are you ready? Uh, I'm Are you more sleepy? Than ready. It's 10 15. It's been a long day, Tasteless. It's been a very long day. And those games were not actually that exciting. Those, those last two uh, were not, no. It's pretty straightforward. The Clyde uh, versus, um, why Amazing. am I suddenly forgetting his name? Lean, Lean Knock. Uh, we're just epic, though. I was That's really right. impressed with that. So um, hopefully these final games, this ZVP that we're going to have is going to be uh, excellent. I can't wait. Yeah. Uh, July Zerg playing next, yeah. so that's amazing, but stay tuned. I have an interview with MC coming oh up. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Yay. Uh, thanks again to our sponsors, Sony Erickson, and thank you for tuning in, guys. Spread the word. Please encourage your friends to tune in, and uh, encourage them to buy the premium services. It's a lot of content for not that very much money.
So, um, I mean, I know we're kind of in the internet generation where we actually don't really pay for anything, but the money that you do pay goes to uh, support the stream. So, it's pretty good. I mean, if you like Gump TV and you want to support it, definitely do that. Uh, enjoy the interview. Must be dementia that you ever thought you could touch our credentials. What's the initials? You be jam rock the lyrical official. Send out the order. Laws and the rituals. Burn candles. Say prayers. Paint mirrors. It is truth. We big news. We hood heroes. So ask the anchor. We come to bunker. Man a bad man. We not play Willy Wonka. And I got the guns. I got the ganja. And we can blaze it up on your block if you wanna. Or haze it up stash box in a Hummer. Or you can run up and get done up.